Hi there. So last time we got to this stage in deriving the variance of beta hats, least squares, uh, and we're going to try and take this a few steps further. So first of all, we are going to assume that we have homoscedastic errors. Remember, that's one of the gas Markov assumptions. And what does that mean explicitly? It means, well, the variance of ui given my xi is completely independent of xi. It's just equal to some constant sigma squared. So how does that help us in our sort of above equation? Well, that means that we can write the above equation like this. It's just the sum from i equals 1 to n of, well, the xi minus x bar becomes squared because, again, we've got the variance of some number a times some random variable x is equal to a squared times the variance of x. And note, remember that down here, our sort of x i on our x bar, these are not random variables because we're thinking about them as being either non-stochastic or sort of fixed in, re in repeated samples. So we're left with the sum of x i minus x bar all squared times the variance of u i all divided by s x x all squared. Okay, and we know that the variance of ui is completely independent of xi, it's just equal to sigma squared. So we can just write this whole thing as being equal to sigma squared times the sum of i equals 1 to n of xi minus x bar all squared divided by, well, let's write out explicitly what ssx all squared is. Well, it's the sum of i equals 1 to n of xi minus x bar all squared and then that whole thing squared. So I hope you can see from the top and the bottom that we're actually going to have some sort of cancellation. This is going to cancel with one of these um, SSXs on the bottom, and we're going to be left with a sort of general form of the variance of our least squared estimator beta hat it is going to be the variance of beta hat given XI is sigma squared, the population variance divided by this sum of I equals um, 1 to N of XI minus X bar all squared. So this is kind of the form that most statistical packages will use to um, calculate the standard error in your estimates of um, the population coefficients, except with one small difference. And that small difference is that, in general, we don't actually know sigma squared. We don't know the population variance. Um, so we have to come up with some sort of estimate of that, um, which we call sigma hat squared. And in the next video, we're going to talk about how we actually estimate the population variance given our regression results. But what we should expect is essentially we're introducing a little bit more uncertainty into the equation, which means that our estimates of beta, the population parameter, are going to be that much less precise. The um, sampling error of beta hat is going to be that much wider because we don't know the population variance. I'll see you in the next video.